Suspended within the fabric of time and space lies the realm of the Chaos Sphere. For eons, the Serpent Riders, masters of the Sphere, have traveled the dimensions sowing destruction. Disparal is dead. Korax, the second rider, threatens another world. The world of Hexen. Hexen, a world where magic's legacy has spawned corruption. Three powers rule as one unholy trinity, each led by a single man, the warlord Zedek, high captain of the Legion is both judge and jury to all the peoples of Hexen. Traductors of the Church. Holds their souls in captivity. And Menelkir the subtle master of the Arcanum weaves his unholy magic to spread fear and weakness amongst all of their subjects. Restless in an uneasy alliance, these twisted leaders rule a twisted land, crushing absolutely all who would dare to oppose them. Today, they will trade their worldly power with Korax for the dark gift of unlife and a mastery of forces more terrible than even their depraved minds could ever imagine. From the ranks of corruption, three heroes emerge, fighting for a single cause, the destruction of the masters they once served. Their names will become a thing of legend. Baratus, Dedalon, and Parias must heal the world of Hexen for all time. The world must undergo a testing. A journey must begin. With a scream of agony, you are wrenched from this world into another. Every part of your body wreathed in mystic fire. When your vision clears, you find yourself standing in a great hall. In the distance, you can see a raised dais, and upon it, the only source of light in this world. This can only be the Chaos Sphere, the source of Korax's power. With this, you can create worlds or destroy them. By rights of battle and conquest, it is yours, and with trembling hands you reach to grasp it. Perhaps now, a new player will join the cosmic game of power. Suddenly, the very reaches of the board seem to be within your grasp. But there are other players mightier than you, and who can know their next move. A vast domain of harsh wilderness stretches before you, but greater challenges remain ahead. The dense tangle of forest surely hides hostile eyes. But what lies beyond will be worse. Barren deserts. Dank swamps. And musty caverns bar your way. But you cannot let anything keep you from your fate. Even if you might come to wish it would. And beyond, flickering in the distance, the ever-shifting walls of the hypostyle seem to mock your every effort. Things seem to move faster and faster. As the world collapses around you, the brightness of a teleportal engulfs you. A flash of light. And then you climb wearily to your feet. You stand atop a high tower, and from below come the screams of the damned. And instantly, the sound of demonic chanting chills your blood. By all the gods of death, what place have you come to? 
How will you ever find your way out? The mightiest weapons and artifacts of the ancients barely sufficed to defeat the Heresiarch and his minions. But now their foul remains lie strewn at your feet. Gathering the last of your strength, you prepare to enter the portal which leads from the Heresiarch's inner sanctum. Above you, the ramparts of an immense castle loom. Silent towers and bare walls surround a single spire of black stone. Fire and shadow twist behind gaping windows, dozens of baleful eyes glaring down upon you. Somewhere within, your enemies are waiting. And he shall journey into the realms of the dead, and contest with the forces therein, unto the very gates of despair. But whether he shall return again to the world of light, no man knows. Damn. 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 Damn.